hello welcome welcome to my channel welcome to the big announcement um, today we're going to do a drawing for the last giveaway which is not this this is the new giveaway which I will show you in a few minutes um, we have had a hundred and fifty one entries into the last um, giveaway which was a box like this but full of just off-white lace and pink lace and white lace and cream lace and so it that's been going on in my Facebook group and if you haven't gone over there you've missed it because <laughs> these girls have been busy they've been putting in entries six at a time four at a time every day for a month so they really want that lace so today we're going to do a drawing and before we get to that, I just want to share with you something I made and is going to be for free in my group. If you want to go over there, I, I, I just put out a corset and sewing kit on my Etsy shop, which is listed below. And um, out of that, I decided from some of the images that I didn't use that I wanted to make um, a little trim uh, folder okay for my for my laces and on here this is seam binding and I added a button just to tie it up with and that's fine but anyway so this is the um, inside I've added my trims as you can see and um, on the back I've added a very pretty dress with some roses and mon ami whatever I don't speak French my accent uh, really shows that I don't speak French. I love to hear the French ladies speak. They do beautiful. But anyways, this is a good way if you have favorite trims and you want to remember which ones you used or where you got them, you could actually write down next to them um, what where you got them from, maybe how much they cost. Um, I didn't decorate the inside. The inside is pretty plain, even though it does have this lace and it does have a border on the top to match the front and the back um, of it. So this piece here without the trim, just the, the graphic for this is on eight and a half by 11, is in my Facebook group as a PDF and I give you the front and I give you the back. So all you have to do is print this out portraits um, on your printer and then turn it over put it back in your printer and print this side on and you'll have a double sided folder that you can then score the edges here and it's pretty plain it's pretty easy to see where to score it and to fold it and then add your trims to it so and before we do the drawing, I do want to show you what is in next month's drawing. I haven't picked a date yet for, I haven't looked at the calendar. I meant to do that before I got on here and I didn't do it. <laughs> um, but anyways, it's going to be at the end of May. And what it's going to be is a challenge. Every week, you're going to have to make something blue. Now, the color blue can be in it. It doesn't have to be all blue. And every week, I'm going to give you two prompts. Each week will be a different prompt, so that way you don't get bored um, or making so much stuff you don't know what to do with it. So, like, for the first week, the prompts are going to be a button and cardboard. But blue also has to be in there. And everything you make, the color blue has to be somewhere on your make whatever it is you enter whatever and you post it in my Facebook group and I will enter it okay so that's what and then we'll do a drawing and whoever's uh, number is picked name is picked will get this box of lace so let me just show you the box of lace and I will also post in my Facebook group what the the challenge is so that it's clear and if you have questions please feel free to ask me. You know I'll be happy to answer. I did a lot of dyeing blue. Um, I use Kentucky Sky with Rit Dye for the blue. Um, so here's some, some things that I have dyed so that they, 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 they coordinate. This is Velvet Ribbon. It's not quite a yard. Actually, it might be more than a yard. I'm not sure. And I dyed it. 
This is not really great velvet. I bought it on Amazon last summer and it was white. I bought oh a lot of yards of it. It was pretty cheap <laughs> and for good reason because it's it's really thin but it's nice for a junk journal because you don't have a lot of bulk and it's still soft so that will go in there. Look I even wore my blue fingernails for the blue giveaway day challenge whatever. I don't wear blue. I do wear fingernails because my fingernails are terrible and I don't mind telling you that I wear finger, fake fingernails. I love wearing them just for the videos. I don't work in them. <laughs> There's no way I could. Okay, so we have some appliques. That's a flower. Applique. Some flowers. Oh, it not this pretty. This I love this crocheted type lace and I dyed that blue. And all of these appliques, I dyed the same color blue. I would have given you a lot more, but it started really weighing too much, and I had to take some out. Um, but I love to give away my stuff because I got so much of it. You're really helping me out. Isn't that pretty? And I gave you a bunch of that. Those, they're all the blue. And then we have, this is some scallop trim. These are all off wedding dresses, by the way. And I take and I cut them apart and I take the stitches out. I Sometimes I leave the pearls in, sometimes I don't. And well, when I use them in my journals, I usually take the pearls off because it's too bulky. But anyways, this is dyed. These are all dyed the same color and at the same time. And this is some more bridal applique. These are connected. You can cut them very easily and use them. And this is just pretty ribbon or lace that you can put ribbon through. It was all white and I dyed it to match the blues because I just love the blues. More applique, another pretty flower. This one <laughs> got stuck in the bottom of the bowl of the dye and it was in there all overnight. So you can see the difference. When you leave um, your <laughs> items in long that's what happens they, they get darker so if you ever want to dye anything um, just and you want it darker just leave them in there longer okay so here's some more of the, these flower type things some wedding gown lace that I dyed this I did not dye but it matches nicely with everything else so that's store bought I did not dye this, and this is some trim. I wrapped these, I did dye this. I wrapped these up because they were getting crazy. They were talking amongst each other, you know, messing around in the box. Every time I came over, something was out of place, and then they started falling on the floor. And I said, that's it. You're all getting uh, bound up here in the pins. We're not going to have this foolishness because then I can't find them because they're on the floor somewhere. And who wants lace that's falling on the floor? Not me. Okay, especially when I just pressed them all off and I dyed them. I took all the time with them. They are not going to fall on the floor. They are not getting out of the box. Sorry, sorry. Okay, and this is pretty. Every time, every material dyes differently. This was all white on a wedding gown, and I just love how light it came out. And this also is a white, I think, rayon. But I dyed it, and it came out a pretty light blue like that, and it matches. I think that's so pretty. And then some more appliques that match. This I also dyed, and it was, I, I don't know if that's 100% cotton. Um, and here, and this is store-bought, and it has the uh, blue ribbon uh, right through it. And now for the other parts, okay some pretty pretty lace that you can do some really beautiful things with i hope you're seeing it all i don't know if my camera's too close because you know my camera problems i have it taped today <laughs> i have it taped together so it won't fall so it'll behave itself so that's a pretty good piece right there this was a very expensive lace i don't mind telling you that but I have so much of it. It's it's good to share it. Okay, some more flowers. And this is just a little organza overlay and embroidered. 
It's just a piece that I had, and it goes with the blue, so I thought I'd give it to you. And this is more organza uh, flowers, little flowers, overlays. They're embroidered, and that will come. And this is a part of that same material, but it's the only piece I have left. And I thought, well, it goes so nice. And maybe you could cut a few flowers out and put it together and do something. I like working with organza. You can just do a, a very nice overlay. This is embroidered. I don't know how well you can see that. But and it has little sequins on it. It's just so pretty for even um, a tag or a card. If you're giving something special, you know, something that I do quite often is I will go to the dollar store or dollar general if someone's birthday's coming up and I don't have time to make them a real special card because for my friends I usually do make some very nice special cards but if I don't have time I'll buy one that's kind of plain but it says something nice in it and then I add lace I add flowers you know fabric I add trim and you know they just they just go they just love it and it just makes such a unique gift um, and card that they want to display it. And what a great way to use all your laces and all your trims. You don't have to just use them on a junk journal, you know. You can do all kinds of uh, uh, projects and make people happy with it. Make yourself happy. Now this is pretty cool. It's kind of heavy, but you could cut out the hearts, the appliques. It has a bit of a... Um, scallop on the edge it's got a lot of stuff in it that you can cut out another whole scallop up here I just think this is so cool and but this was pretty heavy I had a lot more in here and I had to cut it in half because it was really weighing down the box okay and here we have some voile uh, maybe you would call it organza, but I, I think of it more as voile. And it's just a blue piece, I thought. It's very lightweight. So I thought, well, you know, we've got all this blue going on. You need more blue. And this is a very lightweight lace, and I gave you quite a bit. And it's brand new. It's beautiful. I love it. It's great for overlays, for a light cover that you just want to cover something up and put something on top of it because it's not heavy and or put things under it that you can see through because that's pretty cool too um this is great in all i can think of our flower baskets you know trims and then here is the blue that i had showed you last week and i actually had to cut this in half which disappointed me because i wanted to give you a lot of it because I have a lot of it. It's a big tablecloth and it's just gorgeous. I mean, it's just, you could take off the um, edges and have trim. You can cut a rose out and just have one of those. And here, you can cut the appliques here or you can cover a whole book or two. <laughs> Actually, there's enough here for probably three covers, but it's, it's just so pretty, and I love it, and I hope you will love it too, because it will be in this giveaway, and probably in another one another time. Not, not right away, but we'll do another blue one, because I had so many um, I dyed so many different blue trims because I actually love working with the color. I really do. And I especially like the uh, Kentucky Sky color from the RIT dye. I get it at Amazon. And it's not really that expensive. I think it's like $7 a bottle. So um, I like to use that. So this is all going in the next giveaway. And... Now, we're going to do the last giveaway. Actually, it was the first giveaway. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Google to give me a number. Get rid of stuff on my phone here. Between 1 and 151. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Okay, Google. Pick a number between 1 
and 151, please. Okay, number... Here's a random number, 56. 56. Let's see who has 56. Who is the 56? Ah, 56 is Denise Cook. Denise Cook, you can see it right there. Denise Cook. Okay, Denise, I know you're going to see this video. And you've been, um, <laughs> you've been entering quite a bit. So you have won the last bunch of lace box. So um, I need your address. If you can instant message me. I know you're in my group, obviously, because you've um, entered so many times. And I will get the box out to you, hopefully, tomorrow or as soon as I get your address. Okay? So that's it for me today. And I hope you have a great weekend and get busy and make some whatever. I mean, it has to be as big as a tag, okay? It can't be a piece of, of uh, cardboard with a button on it and be blue. It, it can't be. It has to be something that you can use in a journal or whatever, okay? But it has to be at least as big as a tag for the entry for the blue. All right. And I'll see you back in Facebook. And thank you. For entering the challenge. Thank you for watching my video and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you're not subscribed please subscribe. Okay I'll see you back um, in a couple days probably. Bye bye.